children. Since morning, I never even give my children breakfast. Just like any other waterfront in Portacot, the waterfront dwellers of Ubidanso in Diop axis of Portacot were all occupants of makeshift houses constructed by them after allegedly paying an agreed amount to owners of the land. It was therefore surprising and shocking to them when some unknown faces in company of security officials showed up with a court order asking them to vacate their property. Some of the displaced residents claimed that they have never been served with a court order before the forceful eviction. Two of my child, I don't see anyone. They just come this morning, six o'clock, say all of us should move out. Without that, they are coming with bulldozer. That is no evidence, no paste of paper, nothing. They just say we should pack out. As we wake up this morning, the next thing we see, we see a group of police people come this water side. As soon as they come, they started shooting gun. Many people started running. They ask us to move our property immediately. And the next thing we see again, the police people say even use axe and so another thing to destroy our rooms. And today, my children have exam. Because of this situation that we see today, my children couldn't take the exam. I don't know what to do. Since morning, with five children, what do I do? Just look at me outside with rain. The displaced residents of Obidanso Waterfront said properties what millions were destroyed while hoodlums around the area allegedly took advantage of the exercise to loot their belongings. The displaced residents are therefore calling on the River State Government to intervene by helping them unravel those behind the destruction of their homes. We want the state government to come and help us because we have nowhere to go. Before we realize now, all the criminals and those people them lose our property. That's how we see our situation now. So now that is why I am pleading, please look at my situation. I want the River State Government to look at us. Efforts to get any of the landlords comment on the matter proved abortive, while the River State Police Command is yet to respond to the allegation that some of its officers joined in the forceful eviction. From Portacot, Monica Ogwa, STV News.